Hey everybody, Steve Coomer here, and I wanted to show off this cool gadget made by my friend Dave Bradley. He um, made this in his forge, and it is a fire steel, and it is basically, we're going to try to start a fire with it the way um, Daniel Boone would have back in the day. I have this rock, I found it in the Little Miami River, and it is not the best rock ever. Um, you could certainly find a lot better one. But since I found it in the Little Miami, I'm going to try to start a fire with it. I'm going to use the fire steel, the rock, and some char cloth. And I made this char cloth from actually a pair of old blue jeans. And you cut it up into squares and you put it in like an Altoid tin. And you put that on the fire for about 10 or 15 minutes. And um, it's closed up in that tin and the cotton cloth cannot get oxygen and it will char instead of burn. And um, then you take that out and you let it cool completely before you open it so the oxygen doesn't get to the cloth while it's hot and it catches fire. And um, that's how you make char cloth. And char cloth will catch any kind of spark. And so we're going we're to take a piece of that and we're going to take our fire steel from Dave and the rock from the Little Miami. And we're going to see if we can build a fire here in the backyard fire pit. Let's turn it the other way here. We're getting sparks. We just got to have one hit on the char cloth here. There we go. See it right there. See that is burning really hot. So we're going to take that and we're going to put that in this tender dry grass here. We're going to see if we can burn, get that to burn into a flame. Blow on that and get a little oxygen in there. I'm, blow I'm blowing on it and putting air through it. Um, it has been extremely damp around here lately. As everybody knows, the rivers are all flooded and this sh really should have started by now. But um, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a flame out of it. There we go. Put that there, put some nice dry tinder on it to burn. We'll get us a fire the way the pioneers would have back in the day. <laughs> 